Yeah, first start for the um, Storm and this year and um, a bit used to coming into the game when um, the Sting's sort of taken out of the game a little bit and Brandon's done all the tough stuff. So, yeah, it was, was definitely different. And um, But, yeah, staying up, pulled up pretty good and had a few days off, so it's been good. You look like you had a bit of a target on you for a while there. <laughs> yeah, hard. I could hear it. I was, they were getting at me a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's just something to be expected, I think, going forward. So, yeah. And you hurt your thumb or your finger? Or was it your finger that you just, did you dislocate it? Ah, uh, yeah, just my pinky, but yeah, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so you didn't have to have any, we, no trouble with it in terms of going forward playing? You know, uh, no, I'd done it before, so it just sort of easily popped out. I just needed to tape it up, I guess. <laughs> you, have yeah. you got any, um, been given any idea about what's going to happen this week, whether or not you'll start again? Craig seemed to say it might be sort of horses for courses. And yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it'd just more so be a week-to-week -week thing and um, what's best for the team. I think we might get a few troops back this week with Nelson coming back and um, hopefully and, and possibly George and, and even Pap. So there could be, again, a a reshuffle with the side, but saying that we haven't trained this week, so I'm not sure yet what the team makeup will be. Have you done some done the video review? Given the game was sort of early Friday. Yep, yep, and we what did. What was sort of the feedback about, or even sort of in terms of hooker, how that worked with having you and Brandon both starting there? Uh, it wasn't really individualised. It was, it was more so as a team, and um, sort of just how we're disappointed with our first half, and I guess we went full 360 with. How we how we uh, played in that second half, but um, yeah, I think I guess it's just sort of building on that that combination. And even when we're both out there on the same at, at the same time, just yeah, being able to sort of contribute to the other. Craig said he was fairly strong in his halftime address in terms of what he wanted to see in the second half. Have you have you experienced many of his um, halftime talks in that regard? Um, like, no, I think yeah, I think he's I think he has mellowed a little bit, but um, I can still remember back to one in Smithy's testimonial back in uh, 2018, I think it was. That, um, yeah, that was probably my sort of biggest biggest halftime spray. But yeah. apart from that, I haven't really experienced too many. I haven't played all that many games here at the Storm, so yeah, um, yeah, I haven't haven't been on the back end of many sprays. <laughs> Were you always confident? I mean, obviously Origins um, still a few weeks away, but it wouldn't. You didn't feel like you needed to start to sort of take that next step. But to be in the Origin team, I guess like you were confident that you're getting enough minutes and that anyway. Oh yeah, no. Um, I think everyone wants to start, and um, you know that's a great thing about having competition at, at, in the side and in the squad that everyone wants to sort of push to be better. But in saying that, I haven't really. I'd love to play Origin, but I'm not really focused on that at the moment. I'm just trying to, yeah, sort of play consistently well here and, um, yeah, just keep doing my job for the team. Well, if you do play Origin, um, I guess, like, Damien Cook's very likely to be the opposite in the Blues. So is it a good chance to kind of uh, just peg yourself against him? Um, yeah, but, yeah, I <laughs> don't really go out there trying to um, focus on what Damien's doing and... and um, like sort of yeah, trying to yeah compete against him, but yeah. just more so go out there and, and do my role for the team and hopefully contribute to the team. I know he'll definitely feature in a lot of our um, our reviews this week, and um, he's you know he's such a strike for them, and um, yeah, definitely a weapon. So yeah, we'll, he'll he'll definitely feature this week. Do you sort of see yourself and him as similar type of players, getting quick out of dummy half? He's just, he's a lot quicker than me and. <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he's probably he's probably up there with the way of a running running dummy half. He's he's definitely um, you know the best in the game, and um, yeah, he's he's too quick for me. So I still sort of got to change a few few things around my game. If um, I can't base it solely off off what he does, but yeah, try and take parts of it and and build on it. So you're only a young man. Can you get quicker? <laughs> oh yeah. No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope I don't get, I hope I don't get slower. <laughs> oh, you, so you didn't play in the round one game, did you? Because you were injured, so you haven't come up against the... No, no, nah, nah, I was looking forward game. to that, but yeah, I didn't didn't get a, get a run. I think that was our only loss, I think, of the season. Yeah, of so, And it was a pretty close contest, so um, I, I, I 
think their coach Wayne Bennett wasn't very happy with how they won on the weekend, but they're obviously, you know, a real threat. He never looks happy, Wayne, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think yeah, I think they're going really well. So um, yeah, they're, they're such a strike side, and they've got strike all over the park. And you know, I, I wasn't a part of the round one win, so. Um, I haven't played them this year and it's going to be something new for me. So, yeah, I just sort of knuckle down and um, focus on all the review we do this week and um, preview and and then, yeah, sort of look look forward to Thursday night. We only have the one team run again this week because it's obviously... Uh, yeah, I think... Two. Yeah, we train today and then on uh, Captain Down. Um, I know we don't like looking too far ahead, but there's a two-week camp on the Sunshine Coast coming up after this game. How much are you looking forward to that? Um, yeah, no, I think everyone's sort of not looking for, forward too far ahead, but you know, it will be a good good chance to um, sort of have a change of scenery and get up to Queensland, enjoy some Queensland weather. and um, Yeah, and saying that, we'll come back down. It'll be pretty cold down here, so... You missed out on that camp last year. Are you envious about that? Um, yeah, it'd be something new for me going up to Twin Waters. But yeah, it, I guess it would be a different camp for, for all the boys being able to not being in a bubble and being able to get out and about and see the Sunshine Coast. So, yeah, it'd be good. Just back on Origin for a sec. Paul Green was down last week. Did you get a chance to catch up with him? Or? Uh, yeah, there was a few of the boys from, from last year's squad and um, that, that sort of got out and had a chance to meet. I think um, that I think he was looking forward to or trying to meet with a few of the players um, down the track, but that was magic round weekend when we'll be playing on the Sunday night. So um, I think that's why he sort of got a few of the players from last year's squad together to just have a chat and um, get to know each other a little bit. And yeah, so we'll, we'll probably miss that in magic round weekend. So that's why he, sort of jumped out the opportunity to, to see us. And just on Daniel Cook again, do you sort of talk to Brandon Smith a bit more this week to, as far as tackling him? Or? Oh, no, nah, I think it's more so Craig that will be putting an emphasis on that. I think, um, you know, Damien always features pretty heavily in our um, sort of meetings leading up to the South games. And, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of threats that, that we'll be looking at and looking to stop. Did you play against him last year? when you were with the yeah. Tigers and yeah. how, did, how did that turn out? Um, yeah, no, he was great. The thing I liked about Damien was just just having a chat with him after the game. He was so friendly and, um, you know, had a little bit of advice here and had a bit of chat. We had a little bit of a chat about, you know, footy and things life. And, um, yeah, that's the good thing about rugby league. You get to play play these guys and then, um, you know, after the game, they're such great people and, and you get to sort of, yeah, mix and mingle with them. Do you think that now that you're, you know, quite possibly the starting um, go for the storm, and like, will he still be quite so forthcoming with advice or, uh, you know, putting his arm around you? Yeah, <laughs> you're going to come up against him in Origin. You no, know, I think Damien's just that guy that you know he's very friendly and um, easygoing person, and um, yeah, about that starting role. I'm not sure if I've, <laughs> I've got that. It could be Brandon this week, so yeah. And just lastly. Ken Munster had a night to forget in front of the sticks. Are you put your hand up to have the kicking responsibility this week? Uh, no, nah, mate, I'm, I'm probably worse than Munster. So oh. I think I think Christian Welsh threw a bit of shade at money, so wouldn't mind seeing him having a go. Yeah, put the pressure on him. Yeah, put the pressure on him. <laughs>